This is commands 20. In this clip, you're going to learn how to make affirmative formal commands using verbs that are known as stem chaining verbs or boot verbs, okay? You know, verbs like where the O turns into UE or the E turns into IE or the E turns into I. So you're going to learn how to order one boss to do something, how to order a group of people to do something, or say to your friends, let's do something. All right. I'm going to say each of these commands in English, then Spanish, and then clap. And after I clap, I'd like you to repeat both the English and the Spanish with me, okay? Number one, you, sir, think. Piense. You, sir, think. Piense. Remember, these are commands. You're ordering people to do these things. Number two, you guys remember. Recuerden. You guys remember. Recuerden. Number three, let's understand. Entendamos. Let's understand. Entendamos. Number four, uh, you, sir, sleep. Duerma. You, sir, sleep. Duerma. And finally, number five, you guys repeat. Repitan. You guys repeat. Repitan. Now, remember in the present tense, all of these are stem changers. Now, to form the affirmative formal commands, what's the chant? Everybody, yo form, chop the o, opposite file ending. Yo form, chop the O, opposite file, any. So to form a command, we're going to the yo form of these verbs. And if the yo form stem changes, hey, the formal command has to stem change as well. And it has, I-E, U-E, um, U-E, I. But check this out, guys. The we form did not stem change. Notice, entender in the present tense, well, entender is a boot verb. But the we form of the command doesn't change. AR verbs and ER verbs do not stem change in commands, which makes sense. They don't stem change in the present tense. Remember that chant, we keep our letter? What's the only form of dormir or hugar in the present tense? It doesn't stem change the we form. All right, now, notice up here, pensar is an AR verb. AR verbs turn into E, opposite vowel. ER verbs, the E turns into A. And IR verbs, the I turns into A. Remember that chant? A turns into E and E turns into A. A turns into E, and E turns into A. Mr. Holt, that chant talks about A and E, but what about IR verbs? I'm glad you asked. Remember this, guys. IR verbs act exactly like ER verbs. So I guess you could say A turns into E, and E or IR, ER and IR verbs turn into A. Whatever works for you. Now, notice, if you're commanding one boss to do something, you just go yo form opposite file. Oh, yo form chop the O opposite file. There's no ending. But if you're commanding a bunch of people to remember, the ending is N. Because anytime you're talking about you guys, it ends in an N. Remember in the present tense, you guys eat, Coleman, there was an N. Uh, you guys dance, Bylon. So if you're talking to a group of people or ordering a group of people, the ending is N. Now, um, if it's we or let's, hey, let's eat, let's drink, let's study, it's AMOS. In the present tense, AMOS means we, and in the command form, AMOS means we. Now, notice down here, some people have trouble re with repitan. It's a boot verb. And in the stem, this R-E-P-E-T, there are two E's. Um, everything except the I-R is called the stem. If there are two E's in the stem, it's always the second E that stem changes. All right, this has been Commands 20 making affirmative formal commands with stem-changing verbs or boot verbs.